kind of like, why are we calling these people young when they ain't young? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mena and first I would like to say thanks guys. We need a hundred subscribers. I'm so happy. I'm glad that you guys have been liking the looks and been watching some of the videos. I have improved on the audio as you can see. So hopefully we'll be getting better quality content from now on. And today we're going to be doing something very different around here. We're going to be doing a review. So the show that I will be reviewing today is Young, Famous, and African. I know I love a good trashy reality show. Get into it because I had watched last season. And if you watch last season and this season, I feel like I'm watching two completely different storylines. It's like, you know those Nigerian movies that like have like a part one and a part two and part one and part two had nothing to do with each other? This is how I felt like watching the series and kind of like why are we calling these people young when they ain't young what? right like a lot of these people some of them are famous some of them are young but all of them are African okay so that's the things that I did like about the season um we definitely got a bigger budget we could tell by the wigs and the outfits but mostly by the wigs because ma'am season one ah! ooh Oh, season one was a struggle, but um, we got better styling. Favorite styles came from Lady Nakai um, and Boss Lady Zari. I really liked her outfits and the looks that she pulled off this season. Tiny, like she served face. Her face was always beat. I really liked her makeup, but her and um, that is all I can say because it's, the rest of it was kind of trash. The storylines were sort of like what. The acting was horrible, horrible. I mean, last season you could see that they were a little invested in what the fuck was going on, but this season they were just like, I mean, let's read my script and secure this guy and be on with it. You know, I just found it quite like a little cringy how Kanye would always be like, whenever there's a debacle or a fight, she would be like, We need to have a lunch party or a dinner party to resolve these issues. And then. So the storylines were kind of wish-washy. I really, it was just kind of like, either you guys are making this up or you guys are secretly still besties and bitches. And another thing, I didn't really like uh, Swanky's, I didn't like Swanky's character of the season. Like last season, he was a bit more level-headed. He was the one that wanted to bring people in together and sort of, he wanted to bring people together and sort of hash out all the dramas and all the grams. But this season, he was the one that was starting all the nonsense and the Tom I felt really, really bad for um, Lewis. Bonang right now is trying to make me out to seem like I'm trying to control the damn. Um, I felt really bad for him because I feel like he was just like thrown to the sharks with whatever drama was going on. I don't really think that. I don't really think that he deserved any of the backlash that he had. Um, no, it was just, it was just really cringe. That's all I can say about the mom at this point. Like her whole, like she didn't add anything to this. She had a moment, her big hurrah, and then she fucked off. So yeah, and also Andile's storyline with bringing two of his baby mamas to the di to the dinner. Well, I'm not married. I well, was my married. I too. think someone who was married once. Oh. If you're a lady and you're in a relationship with someone, you can't ask another man to do stuff in your house. And that man being with someone else. Like, ah, uh, ah, uh, and like you're shocked that they're fighting and they're calling each other names and saying, you cheated, you cheated. Like, of course they are. But I must say, props to you for giving both your baby mama some jobs and some press. Like, like isn't it weird how they both look like each other? Like, Nadia was kind of my favorite this season. I feel like she she asked the real questions. She asked what the people wanted to hear. Um, and I feel like she really played she really played her role this season. Um, um, the underrated person out of all of this is Katie. I really like Katie this season. I feel like she was just cool. Um, she didn't chassis, but you know what her opinion is. If you know not to talk about certain topics, and she won't talk Santana about was Santana and Spikey are kind of tied for my for my least favorite characters. 
Santana because like I had so much like hope for her like bringing a new kind of like American African American perspective onto a show but she just ended up doing some whole shit which I mean it's fine but then don't act like you're not doing whole shit so Santana just kind of looked like a dumb dumb swanky was just too problematic this season and just stirring the pot when it wasn't needed to be stirred really at the end of my review please let me know if you guys like the video or not and like give a thumbs up or not or if you liked all